Let's take proposes a tape pack. We've only just started. <laughs> they proposed the tape pack as soon as that landed. Or were they thinking maybe the Queen was supporting? Well, they could train it like a gambit, couldn't they? And see how they get on. So I'll say no to the tape back and they're probably just going to either wait the game out now and not make a move or resign whichever way or just leave the game. Which is a shame. They shouldn't move so quick then, should they? Hey. Eh? Well, they decided to make a move. So obviously they took that time, now they're going to come back and be all super. So that's fine. Let's just push on to this pawn. Let's give a pawn up ourselves. Probably just going to keep pushing past. Let's take this x-ray and through to the queen. Potential sites of attacking the rook, obviously that's a bit obvious. The queen was protecting that pawn so we couldn't take, but now the knight's come there, it's blocked it because it's defending this pawn. And so might as well just go for a simple capture. Could attack the rook just to make it think of something. It's not a very good position for us, really. So I probably need to get out here, try and get the Queen King in check. I mean, he's got pieces that can defend, so there's no big biff. Let's take the Rook because he's left it there. I could have taken it before. <laughs> So it's looking like that first move that they did make was majorly upsetting their rhythm. But they still play, not happy with my position. I'm really wanting to get this to get the check on the king, even though he does have these pieces here. At least it looks a bit more proactive. And let's go with the check on the king. We're wanting to do that. So either the knight or the bishop goes back. Get the bishop back here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's an attack on the pawn here. Then get this knight out because this pawn is blocking the way. So there's a few things. So he's actually moved with the king. Anything else? So So there's no rush now to come and attack the knight because there's no x-ray through. So we may as well just go and attack the pawn. Bishop goes back to defend. Just go for an attack himself, but we'll take the pawn here. Does he have threats on us? This bishop here looking to attack, put a check on our king, wins them a bit of tempo. And does as well. Let's just move the king. So what protects this pawn here? I think he's going for devastation now, he's just going to attack, but we'll take here anyway. But it's not clear, there's no, nothing set in any way, shape here. Could still mess it up. Just come here to attack the bishop. He's attacking the rook. 
just going to hit because if he does take, we can take. It's going to be on the bishop still. Okay, so still on the bishop still. Ooh, ooh, captures. I think they've given up now. Hopefully, fingers crossed they've given up. Yes, so we'll just take this pawn here, then we'll swing back, attack the king. It's going to hide in the corner here. Let's just put the check on. Swing the knight here. If you get round here, it's not going to be too devastating to them because they're just going to drop. Then we can take the pawn. Okay, let's go here. Any checks, white square bishop, um, rook coming across, no, just simple away, or even down here to come back up. Well, they're still carrying on, so we have to be, oh, I could take, and propose a take back again. <laughs> so we've taken... Um, he gets a piece. There are no clear checkmates on here, so we still have to box clever. Takes. We've got more material, but oh, he's not. But he's giving us a free bishop thing type situation. Could attack this pawn. He's got our bishop empty on the other side. Is there another check on the king at all? Why is there a bishop? Uh, that's a two. Yeah. No checks on this king. He's got to attack his knight. He's got no protection. So if he takes our bishop, we take the knight. That seems promising. Or oh, it did. So we can move the bishop now because we've won that tempo to get a move. Not sure if it's the right move or not, though, because I, I sense something in the water. Is this rook coming here? Going to be down on here. So if he takes, then we take. Then this knight's no longer protecting the knight. But we do have the pawn protecting the bishop. Okay. It all seems a little bit scrappy, but um, I'm I feel okay. I feel like I know what I'm doing. It's not like the best position because there's nothing instantaneously going towards the king, but we seem to have obliterated a few of his pieces, pawns, minor pieces. So in the longer term, it probably stands us in good stead, unless he gets a stalemate. <laughs> Okay, so the king's mood is not taking the bishop. Ours is to attack his bishop. Mm, attack, the, attack the knight, because if the knight moves, then we can get a check on the king with the bishop. Let's get a check on the king with the bishop. They've totally given up now, haven't they? <laughs> well, not given up, given up, but I've got to go here. Swing the rook up and check on the king. Go for the bishop. Let's go here. Oh, don't tell me I'm messing. I'm messing it up, aren't I? Have I got a four? No. But you hate it when you start dropping pieces when you've got all these pieces on the board and you still mess it up. Let's 
Let's get his rook off the board. And then he doesn't have many pieces at all then. Let's just take could have taken the rook, couldn't have, the knight, sorry. Well, he still can. <laughs> Do me. One at a time, one at a time. So we can push this up now. Push. Jumps into this little space. Put the rook putting a check on. Can't go there. So finally starting to make, take shape. And the opponents left the game. A clear victory on that one. Interesting time. 